Good morning. Hope everyone is doing good today. I just thought I would do a quick little video. Say quick, I don't know how it's gonna how long it's gonna take. I'm gonna do some snippets today. I'm gonna use up some more of my my scraps. Wanted to show you an example of a snippet. Um, this is like one of my last pieces I have left. That's why I'm like, oh, I should make some more. So I'll do it with you guys. So this is on like this interesting paper that I had that was made from like, it's like paper backed, but the front is like a burlap, I guess. Um, and then it's just scraps and then some stitching on the sewing machine. So I grabbed some scraps of muslin that I had and then that's what I'm gonna use for the background. I prepped this, so I'm, I'm not gonna get glue on here because I'm gonna glue to here first, then once it dries, then I'll stitch them. So this is a snippet and snippets can be used in your journals for various things. But ooh, I'll show you quick. Grab this journal that just happens to be hanging out over here. So they can become an interesting detail on a side of a page. And if you glue them just on the edge, then it becomes like a little tuck. So you could tuck papers in that way. So that's kind of cute. You could do an over the top little bit. So same thing, you can make that as another little tuck. You could also do it on the bottom, on this side of the page. Um, you could also just use them, cut them up into little pieces to use as clusters. So they're ready-made little clusters. So you could just snip a part of it, boop, thus the name Snippet, and put them on a corner. Snippets can be made from just about anything that you have. You could just even make them from fabric. You could do some slow stitching, all kinds of good stuff. And that's probably something I'll do at some point is show you how I do some of my little slow stitching bits and bobs. But I'm just gonna kind of do one of these today. Grabbed my scrap bin and we're just gonna go to town. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get my glue ready here. I'm gonna be using a fabric fusion to get it onto here, but just, it's mostly just to kind of hold this stuff in place um, so I can send it through the sewing machine. So I'm gonna grab, I want kind of earthy tones. So I'm just gonna start putting some of these guys down here in various places. We want some contrast. We wanna be able to see some things. We'll use some of those. What do we got in here? I'm using all roughly the same weight of paper. This is kind of nice. You can't really see it, but it does have a little bit of kind of some texture on it. Okay. And, oh, look at this. This is like a ready-made little piece. We're just gonna We'll leave that for something else. That can be a cluster for something. Here's a little piece of note paper. Put this guy on here. Doesn't have to be anything special how you're doing this. Just kind of go with it. Just go with the flow. Here's some, some green. Let's give some of that green in here. No two of these will ever be alike. So I don't know if I like that part. We'll save that for later. Some cards, oh look, look, there's a stamp in here. Let's put that there. Part of this is cool. See how we're just kind of starting to fill it up here. And that's really all you do. It's not rocket science, my dudes. So you just kind of have fun playing with your bits of paper. Let's see what else we got. There's gotta be some other fun stuff in here. Some more green. Woo, tipping my scraps out of my bin. This is kind of fun. There's some little mushrooms on this. A little pop of color. Mm, it's a little white. I don't want that, that's too white. Let's see, what else is in here? Dig to the bottom. 
oh, here we go. There's some paw prints. And my scrap bin is a lot of rando stuff. So I'm just tearing some things here and there. A little paw print paper. These are probably off cuts from some like little kids journals that I made. that to add as we move down. Oh, this is fun. Let's throw you on here. Maybe here. Okay. What else we got happening? I like this green. It's a little heavier, but I'm going to use it anyway. Ooh, it does not want to tear very easy. That's some sturdy stuff. But I like that. Okay, so that one's pretty much about donezos there. There, a little one here. I'm getting this filled up pretty quickly. See, these are pretty fast to make once you kind of. So I do a couple at a time. What else we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, here we go. This looks like grass. I'm gonna tear this part off. Put you here. A little less. Boop. 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 Okay, let's get these kind of glued down. I should have just put a strip of glue down here and just went with it, but that's all right. So these will probably change their amalgamation a bit as we go, but that's okay. All right. I'm just going to, let's just do this. Set these off to the side a little, and then we'll pop them back on in their general formulation. Just putting a bead of glue down in here. Ah, and a string. You can hang out, buddy. You might be fun. All right, and then we're just popping these on here. Just going with it. Who wants to go where? Be friends, my dudes. All right. I hope everybody's finding a little time for some creativity. Working on some fun projects. I'm busy, busy as always. I made a whole bunch of, uh, of the instant pot and I find that um, if I'm going to make something in it, I usually make enough so that I can put some in the freezer for later too. I like to make ahead stuff. It uh, makes it easier. All right. Maybe I won't pull all these guys off. I'll just do a couple at a time. Got a rumple here. That's going to be fun. Okay. Doop. Hope you can see this. Didn't double check to make sure I'm in frame here. It's all right. There and there. Hang on, my dude. Go over there. It's bright and sunny out today. It's still very chilly here. Okay, friends, we're just gonna grab you. Go like that. So I'm not overly worried, like I said, about how well these are glued down because I am gonna sew them on the sewing machine once they are dry. So once this glue dries, then I will going to use the sewing machine on them and kind of do some zigzaggies and maybe some other fun designs and that'll hold everything in place. The glue is more mostly here just to tack it down 
And you can just sit at your sewing machine and do this too. You can just take your fabric strip and sew as you go. That would be an easy way to do this as well. I'm just gonna dump this one off like this. Boop. There's so many ways that you can make these and have fun with them and then use them. And then I've seen some people store them on like little spools, which is adorable. So wind them up on spools. I know some people sell their snippets. Is that the wrong side of that? It so totally was. Okay, we'll flip you over. Grab that glue off there. Good job, me. <laughs> it's like, that seemed really plain. Yeah, there was a reason, the answers. My goodness. Okay, that in there. Getting some fun stuff happening. Love it. I must have had those kind of packed in there a little bit, huh? Okay, so that part's done. Look, some extras. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, I'm gonna scooch these guys up. Let's see there. That's why I put it on that paper. So I wouldn't glue it to things. Let's go sideways. We'll go like this. Turnsies. Because contrary to what you might think, I do try not to get stuff all over my pad all the time. My work pad and surface. I just had this. I was watching one of my, well, when I was editing a video yesterday, I'm like, wow. That thing is a bit of a mess, but it is what it is. It's life. I've had this work mat, cutting mat for man. It's probably 20 years old, if not more. And that's okay. We gotta use stuff, right? I can always, I have a nice one. I have a very nice one that's a little bit bigger. And I use that. Um, for quilting. When I do my quilting, that's what that one is gets used for. So that's my nicer one. I use that to cut my fabric and stuff. <clears throat> no glue allowed, I tell myself, and then promptly forget that I'm gluing on my mat sometimes and very quickly clean it up. Cause I'm like, oh, no, don't ruin it. Nancy, what are you doing? You're a silly girl. But, you know, <laughs> there's a little bit of this one. See, I'm just doing whatever on these guys. Not even a big deal. I need some other variation here. Oh, look, there's another stamp in here. Let's put you down here. It's a good idea. I should grab my stamps out to do this more regular. I have a huge box of stamps. I got at a fundraising auction a while, a long time ago, and... It's like the never-ending box of stamps. I don't even know how many thousands of stamps were in that box. I mean, it's super fun, valuable, useful to have them. <laughs> but it's a lot of stamps. A lot, a lot. Let's go like this. You move down. All right. You can do these in color themes. Just really have fun with your scraps. Grab some more scraps. We always have scraps, don't we? Look, oh cute, it's like rocks. We'll put you in there. Some rocks. Put this one down here. Okay, what else we got? Let's put a little paw print here. See, I should have just done that the first time, put the glue on there. That's okay. We learn, right? Always learning. Never, ever, ever stop learning. There's new things to be learned every single day. Let me grab a little of this guy. Oh, perfect. Let's do that. Kind of like that. Okay, and just a little bit there. 
What do we got? What do we got? Some more tea dyed. I know I've got more tea dye in here. Or coffee dye, I should say. These are coffee dye papers. What else do we have? Do, do, do. Some of that green. Okay. Okay, so those are all kind of tacked down at the moment. And let's put one more here. There. Now you could go a step further and grab that one I have finished. And that really that's all I did, but I did add like this as a sticker. So I periodically put some stickers on. Maybe we could do a little of that. Let's do it. What do I have here on my desk? I've got those labels. I might as well use up some of those. Seeing I have a million of them and are they're in colors we like. They'll match everything I've been working on. Let's just stick a few on here and there. Little garbage pile. Add a little extra texture. Love it. I should pull out at some point and just have on my desk get some of my sheets of stickers out from a million years ago when I was a scrapbooker. I've slowly been using up that kind of stuff that I had in my stash but when you have a lot of it it just seems like it's never ending and that's okay and I've shared some stuff with other people too sent it on to other Homes where it can be loved and enjoyed. These are a little big. Oh, I like this one because it looks like an envelope or a letter. Let's put you on here someplace. I don't know where. How about right about? Mm, are very wide. How about up here? It's probably off camera and you can't see it. It's okay. Maybe. Oh yeah, just about. Okay. <clears throat> a little bit smaller. Let's do a few smaller ones. Ooh, numbers. I like those numbers couple more here and there quick and then we'll call that good and there's a little hexagon the number two hope you guys have been enjoying my videos um please leave me some comments i would love to hear from people what you like what you don't like what you'd like to see What do you want to hear me j chatter and jabber about? It is a weird thing, just sitting and talking to your table, your desk. When I had house cats, that was always my excuse for talking to myself. Cause there always would be one cat where it was so you know you're never talking to yourself if there's always somebody in the room with you okay maybe something in there let's throw this guy looks pretty good maybe one up there Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna let these dry and go to the sewing machine. So maybe when I do that, I'll try and see if I can set up my uh, camera stand so I can show you how I sew these. If not, we shall see. But those ones are done for the time being. So we'll let them dry and then run them through the sewing machine and add some zigzag stitches and probably some straight stitches maybe in other fancy stitches but ta -da! so we'll leave it here for the moment and then we'll come back and I'll show you this stitching okay okay and we're back 
So I zipped this through the sewing machine. So you can see how it looks now. And what I did is I actually ended up sewing it together while I was doing it. Let me move a few things. I did a bunch today, so it's actually evening now. I'm just looking on the camera here to make sure that you can see all the fun, pretty snippet roll or snippet that we made. That's where it overlapped one to the other is right there. And then I was playing around with just looking to see how some of my fancier stitches would look on here too. I'm always experimenting. I wasn't happy with this one. It was taking too long, that's why. But I like this one with the leaves. I don't know if you can see that really well or not, but. So yeah, it turned out really well. And I measured it. It's the three pieces that we made earlier sewn together were 55 inches. So I have an extra or empty spool because I save these because I'll put ribbon and stuff on them. So I just grabbed a little, because this is a foam. Oh, of course, and then I pulled it out. Good job, me. So I didn't get it into the fabric. Let's try that again. I'm just using a tiny little stick pin there. There we go. And now we can just roll this up on here. So 55 inches, what is that? That's like 36 inches in a yard. So almost two yards, 36 and 36 is 72. Oh, fudgels. Okay, I want to, to get this all rolled up on here nicely. So there we go. Made our little snippet. So now I have a bunch to use up on whatever we decide. I feel like that might be a lot for this little roll, but we'll go with it. I probably should have grabbed another pin to put into the end. We'll see what happens. Get this guy on here. I really like how this turned out. It's really pretty. It'll add some really fun texture and character onto some page edges or Maybe I'll put some of this up for sale when I do a show. I'm going to be going, doing a show here soon. So, and see how that goes. Don't these look pretty though? Just on this spool, and then it's an easy way to keep it contained. Let's see, I bet I have a pin up here. Yep, I do. Let's see if I can get it to go through there. Oh, of course I bent it. That's fine. It's fine. It just needs to kind of hold. Just bend it down. It's fine. Okay. There we go. Our cute little snippet roll. It's adorable. Yay. Okay. So there you go, guys. I hope you try it out. Um, if you have questions about these, how you make them, what to do about the sewing situation, you don't have to sew. Um, you 100% do not have to sew these with the sewing machine. I just like to do it because it adds another dimension. You can add, instead of sewing, you could do them just on paper and add some designs with a pen if you wanted to. You could do some stenciling on these. Maybe we'll do that someday. If you guys want me to do another variation that's a no-sew method, let me know. I'll leave a comment for me. Um, tell me what you think. And that's what we got for now. You guys have a great day. Bye.